Hello everyone. Short-term obligation are debt or liabilities that are due within one year. However, under certain conditions, the short-term debt or obligation can be reclassified as non-current or long-term, meaning they are treated as long-term debt. When does a short-term debt can be reclassified as a non-current? Well, and why would a company wants to do that? Well, this reclassification will improve the company current ratio. Current assets divided by current liabilities. You are reducing current liabilities. It will improve your working capital. Current assets minus current liabilities. You are reporting less liabilities, making the company appearing more financially stable. When I was in practice, we had a funeral home service client where they had 20 loans and they kept refinancing their loans. It was a tough not to crack when it came to determining which portion is current, which portion should be reclassified. I'm glad that funeral service home was not an oddity for us. In this session, we are going to learn under what circumstances and specifically under what conditions can a company reclassify a short-term debt into a long-term debt. And to be more specific, we're going to be discussing how a company can show intent and ability. And if they can show those two, they can reclassify it. At the end of the session, we'll work a multiple choice question. We also work an example to demonstrate this intent and ability. Let's go ahead and get started. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So how can the debtor demonstrate intent and ability? There are two ways to qualify for this reclassification from short term to long term. The first option is to refinance after the balance sheet date, but before the financial statements are issued. Let's take a look at a timeline. Let's assume we're looking at year one. And year one ends for the sake of this illustration, December 31st, calendar year. It may take up to two to three months for the financial state statements to be issued. So let's assume the financial statements are issued uh, for the sake of illustration, February the 15th. As long as the company can show that they refinanced, refinanced, this is this green X, their financial, the, refinanced the debt before the issuance of the financial statements, they can reclassify their debt. So the debtor must refinance the obligation on a long-term basis after the balance sheet date, December 31st, but before the financial statements are issued or available to be issued. This indicates that the refinancing must happen during the time between the end of the financial period and when the financial statements are issued. So this is one way to demonstrate intent and ability. The second way is to have financing agreement. What is that? Well, another way the debtor can have a financing agreement place that explicitly permit refinancing the obligation on a long-term basis. Simply put, most likely it doesn't have to, but maybe a signed agreement with a financier, with a bank, with a financial institution that allows you, that explicitly permits financing. Basically, the bank saying, yes, we agree to refinance this debt. It's not done yet, but they have an agreement. The agreement must be effective before the financial statements are issued or available to be issued. So you have a financing agreement or you actually did it. Now the financing agreement here, the assumption is has to be, you know, written, strong, you can back out of it. So the presence of this agreement provides assurance, and this is the whole purpose, that the entity can and will refinance the debt. Can it means have the ability and they are going to do it, allowing it to be classified as non-current. Remember, the key is to do what? Is to show it as long-term. Not the key, the objective of the company. Why? Because it's going to improve 
your financial ratios. It's going to improve your financial health. There are financial implication between long-term debt and short-term debt. Short-term debt put pressure on your cash flow. You need to pay it off now. Long-term debt gives you more time. When you have time, it's always better when you can show your debt is not due immediately. Let's take a look at an example to illustrate these concepts. Let's assume XYZ company has half a million loan that's due on December 31st, year X4. The company prepared its financial statement as of December 31st, 20 X4, which will be issued on February 15th, X5. So under the first scenario, we have no refinancing agreement. What's going to happen is, since the loan is due within one year, it could be typically classified as current on the balance sheet date. Therefore, if we have no refinancing agreement, it will stay short term. The half a million remain classified as current because there is no action or agreement to refinance it on a long term basis before the financial statements are issued. Let's change the scenario. Let's assume we refinance after the balance sheet date, but before the financial statements are issued. What does that mean? Let's assume on January 20th, XYZ company successfully refinances the half a million loan with a new loan that has a maturity January 20th, 2028. It means 20X8. It means the loan has few years to go. Uh, 20, 20X5, 20X6, 20X7. 20x up until the beginning of 20x8 that's more than a year because the refinancing agreement occur after the balance sheet date but before the financial statements are issued so as of December 31st we did not have this agreement we did not refinance not the agreement we did not refinance but we were able we were able to refinance before the financial statements are issued now we can reclassify this half a million as long term as non current so the half a million is rec reclassified and only a portion of it will be obviously current. So the half a million is reclassified from current to a non-current liability, improving the company's liquidity ratios as the debt is no longer due within the next 12 months. Let's change the scenario. We have a financing agreement in place before the financial statements are issued. We have strong financial agreement. Well, before the end of 2024, we have a signed and negotiated a financing agreement with a bank that gives it the option to extend the loan till December 31st, 20X7. Well, the agreement is effective before the financial statements are issued. We have a signed agreement. What can we do under those circumstances? We can reclassify the loan as long term. Again, this will improve the company's liquidity ratios. Again, we don't want to forget about the implication of short-term versus long-term debt. That's important. ABC company has 200,000 short-term loan due March 31st, X5. On January 10th, X5, the company successfully refinanced the loan, extending its, its maturity till 2028, 20X8, three years later. The financial statements for year end December 31st are issued on February 15th. How should the loan be classified on the December 31st 20X4? Okay, here's, this is year X4 or 24X4. The financial statements are issued on February 15th. What did we do? On January 10th, we refinanced the loan. Well, if we refinance the loan till 20x8, which is longer than a year, how do we reclassify this loan? We reclassify it as non-current. The answer is B. Well, what do we prefer? We prefer that it's non-current because we don't want it to be part of the current liabilities. We want, we want it to be part of the long-term debt because once it's part of the long-term debt away from current liabilities, it's going to increase our financial position. Our current ratios are improved working capital. What should you do now? You want to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs, resources that's going to help you, whether you are studying for your accounting courses or your CPA, CMA exam, or simply put, investing in yourself. Invest in yourself. Good luck. Study hard.